Hello, True Crime family. This is Arctic Fox True Crime. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are covering one of the top headlines today. 70 missing children have been recovered. Some were human trafficking victims, and this happened over a three-week operation out of Texas. Guys, I am always happy to hear when children are recovered. I hate the fact that some of them were victims of sex trafficking, but at least they've been rescued out of that situation. A multi-agency operation in western Texas found the 70 missing children in recent weeks. This was led by Homeland Security Investigations in El Paso and the Department of Public Safety Operation, Operation Lost Souls. Uh, this was a project that was conducted over three weeks from the end of April through mid-May. The recovered children were ages 10 to 17. A majority of these children were runaways, and this is why I get so angry when law enforcement seems to say, oh, it's just a runaway. Uh, these runaways are at greater risk of being trafficked in many cases. Um, there were also some that were victims of physical and sexual abuse. Most of the children were in Texas. However, they were recovered in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, Colorado, and even as far away as Mexico. Uh, Operation Lost Souls just goes to show how Homeland Security investigations are committed to protecting the public from crimes of victimization. In this case, they were looking out for our kids, our community's most valuable resource. El Paso Deputy Special Agent in charge of this operation said that the Homeland Security is committed to continue working with local law enforcement partners to locate, recover, and help missing children heal while ensuring that the perpetrators of these horrific crimes are held responsible for the crimes and brought to justice. So guys, you know, this is, this is a win for us. Even though these kids have been trafficked and whatnot, they've been recovered, they're safe now, and authorities said they're going to be assisting with agencies that provide services and counseling to these victims and their families. So hopefully they will get the services for their mental health that they're going to need. Uh, any of you out there that has any information on human trafficking, you're urged to, con to contact the National Human Trafficking Hotline at 888-373-7888. Guys, again, this is a win for us. This is a good outcome. I know it's not a win that these kids were put through such a horrific ordeal, but at least they've been brought home safe. They're no longer in that situation. And again, you know, this is why I always say it's so important that when you see something, you've got to say something. A lot of this could easily be prevented if people spoke up. And again, the whole thing where law enforcement needs to start taking these runaway cases much more seriously than what they do. Again, it seems like any time a child over the age of 12 goes missing, they automatically stamp it as a runaway, and they don't give those cases a high priority. And it's getting a bit ridiculous. We need to put legislature in place to where runaway cases get treated the same as any other missing child. So guys, again, I really want to thank you for tuning in and viewing. If you would, do me a favor, like the video. It helps my YouTube algorithm and helps bring my channel to the top of YouTube. Also, if you would, give the video a like. Um, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. That helps me out tremendously. And if you ring that little notification bell thingy, that'll also let you know whenever I upload another missing persons video or a news update such as this one. Again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. You all be kind to one another out there, and I'll see you in the next video.